Bang is a commercials production company, but we have a company called the 120 Media Collective, which is our parent company, um, and it's a content company. First, just to establish this whole concept of content and uh, driving commerce through content, uh, it's basically, you know, the way we look at it is that it allows you to transform your relationship from being transactional to one where you as a brand or retailer get regarded as um, uh, one that adds value to the life of your consumer or your potential consumer. And that value can be in the form of education, entertainment, information, etc. Right. So content itself, um, I think that, you know, in the context of this discussion that we're having regarding uh, multi-channel retail, I think that the role of content in actually creating a seamless and integrated multi-channel experience is immeasurable. And I say that because it allows you to actually provide consistency in the experience, right? And so that experience, you know, the experience obviously varies depending on the platform. Online platforms are uh, much more conducive to actually providing a story or uh, background or information regarding products than the actual physical retail space. But then, you know, you have brands like um, Apple, Puma, um, Burberry, maybe, and you know, these are brands that like to actually present a great story behind the brand, behind their products. Uh, so you know, so that actually then further engages you as a as a customer, and then encourages you to buy the product. You may not buy it right then and there, but you know, it's not just Burberry who's doing it. There are brands, smaller uh, retail brands. There's you know, a startup called. Uh, Bobble Bar, I think, in, in New York, which is doing it extremely well, where they do it in a pop-up shop fashion, because obviously they can't afford the kind of retail real estate, so they just do it for one week instead. So there's different ways to go about it. Um, it also works the other way, you know, so there are some brands that look at the retail space. The retail space is not about selling anymore because they've gravitated so much towards e-commerce being their main channel, that the retail space is actually about enhancing or super augmenting that experience that you actually can you know, relate to the brand even better. The way they do it is you walk into a store in Uniqlo Tokyo, um, they're not really looking to get you to buy their t-shirts. Obviously, if you do, they have the inventory there, but you know, given real estate prices in Tokyo, they're not really stocking a lot in the store. So they expect you to come there to actually experience the brand, and then you order for it to be delivered to your flat uh, by the time you get home or maybe in a couple of days or whatever it might be. So they're actually using retail in, in different ways, right? So that, that um, the, the content and the role of content in the retail space that becomes furthermore important. Um, also, another point I just wanted to make is that content itself is not necessarily about it's not necessarily for the brand to make only. You know, there's a lot of user-generated content or UGC that can also further drive traffic or create further engagement. Uh, you have, uh, you know, so if you have a satisfied, you have a satisfied customer, or you have someone who goes into a store, and uh, you know, the whole the whole shopping experience is actually quite social for a lot of people, right? So you have a bunch of girls who are friends who go to a store, and they may not actually physically be with their friends in the store, but you can actually use technology provided by the brand or by existing platforms. You know, you could have a Puma app that actually uh, tell your friends what you're buying, and someone else might have the same shoes or whatever it might be, and then there's a conversation that's generated around that. So there are actually third-party apps and platforms that are being created around. Yeah. There's something called Olapic, which actually allows you to, allows retailers so as a retailer, as a brand, if you use Olapic, you actually can aggregate all the content that's created around your brand. Because if you think about it across Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, etc., it's really difficult to put all of it together. So this actually allows you as a brand, as a retailer, to pick up all those pieces of content that are created around your brand and then further streamline it to use it better for your own marketing purposes. So these are some of the ways that content is being used. And I think my the relevance of me even being here is to look at it through that and to, to kind of talk a little bit about how content can further drive engagement. The fact that social media has not, there is no evidence that social media actually drives sales. In fact, 0.25, and these, this is new data as of two months ago in the US, 0.25% and 0.05% uh, 
point for, I mean, in total, it's less than 0.5% across the board for Facebook and Twitter in terms of driving sales. Mm -hmm. So then why do it? Essentially, again, it's a longer term play of, of driving engagement in the hope that then you will one day purchase the product.